In this video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at five products from MFJ. Welcome to Sensei's bag of tricks. I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu. Hmm, okay. The coin toss means we work our way from lowest price to highest price. So, let's start with the MFJ281 clear tone speaker. The clear tone speaker, which retails for about $20, is an unamplified speaker which requires no power and plugs directly into the speaker socket of your radio. These are great for mobile use in your vehicle to point the sound directly towards you rather than to the floor or the ceiling. They're also great for use at home for exactly the same reason. It's a very basic speaker with no controls for volume or tone. The speaker comes with a mounting bracket and associated hardware, and the speaker cable is about five and a half feet long. That's the MFJ281 clear tone speaker. Moving up to about the $40 mark, we have another speaker, but this time it's amplified. The MFJ mobile amplified speaker outputs six watts and requires 12 volt DC to operate. The speaker comes with a cigarette lighter plug already attached, so it's ideal for mobile use. If you prefer another kind of connector for powering the speaker, it's trivial to cut off the cigarette lighter plug and attach the connector of your choice. The speaker has an on-off power switch and a volume control and comes with a mounting bracket. The cables are plenty long enough for most mobile applications. The MFJ383 mobile amplified speaker. Stepping up to around $70, we have the MFJ842 VHF, UHF, SWR, and Watt meter. This compact cross-needle meter simultaneously reads forward power, reflected power, and SWR. There's a button on the front to select between the two power ranges, 15 watts and 150 watts. There's a built-in backlight, and there's even a pigtail included in the box for providing the 12 volts that's required just for running the light. The meter itself doesn't require any external power source. The meter can be used from 140 to 525 megahertz and can handle up to 150 watts average power. The display is clean and really easy to read. That's the MFJ842 VHF, UHF, SWR and Watt meter. Coming in at about $100 is the MFJ121B station clock. You can buy digital clocks quite cheaply, but this one, as it says in the box, is two atomic clocks in one. This means that unlike the clocks that you can buy at Walmart, you can set this clock to both UTC time and your local time. The clock doesn't come with batteries, so you need to supply two AAA batteries. Yeah, hang on. You need to supply AA batteries. Once you've set the time zones, the MFJ121B keeps both clocks in sync. The clock even takes into account leap seconds. The clock also takes into account daylight savings time and has an exclusive GMT time zone that you can use if you prefer. You can display both clocks using 12 or 24 hour time, or one in 12 hour time and the other in 24 hour time. The choice is yours. The clocks automatically synchronize to WWV automatically each night there's even an option to automatically turn on a backlight at a preset time. The light will turn itself off again eight hours later. That's the MFJ-121B, two atomic clocks in one. Finally, coming in at about $300 is the MFJ-223 Color Graphic Vector Network Antenna Analyzer. This sweet little analyzer graphs your antenna's SWR, allowing for rapid adjustments to perfectly tune your antenna. It weighs just five ounces, fits in your pocket, and covers 0.5 to 60 megahertz. Antenna connections to the analyzer are made via a BNC connector on the top of the unit, so you'll need to supply an adapter if using anything other than a BNC connector on your coax. The analyzer can be used in scan frequency mode or single frequency mode. When using the scan frequency mode, you select your operating frequency and range. The analyzer scans the range of frequencies you've chosen with your operating frequency at the center of the scan. There are eight different scan widths available from 30 Hz to 48 MHz. 
Once the scan is complete, you can scroll through the plots for SWR, impedance, resistance, and reactance. In the single frequency mode, you select the operating frequency and the analyzer sends a steady CW carrier to the antenna and measures SWR, impedance, resistance, and reactance at that chosen frequency. You can change frequencies at any time using the encoder knob at the top of the unit. If the antenna being tested is close to another transmitting antenna, the MFJ223 analyzer will warn you by showing a received signal bar on the bottom of the display. The MFJ223 analyzer runs off a built-in 1930 mAh lithium polymer battery that's charged via a micro USB connector. Plug it into the computer's USB port or a cell phone charger to charge it. The battery gives you several hours of use per charge, and the LCD display is completely readable outside, even in the midday sun. I've checked the MFJ223 against another analyzer, the Zoom 230BLE, and found it to be just as accurate on HF. And that's your quick look at the MFJ223 Vector Impedance Antenna Analyzer. Well, once again, my bag of tricks is empty for now. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at some of the items in the extensive MFJ product line. Links to all of the items you've seen here are in the video description. If you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigato gozaimashita.